Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $110,138.86. In the past year I am up $38,892.41. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $17,961.10. And I know it says today's return, but uh, I just didn't make a video on Friday, but right now it's Sunday night, so I'm making a video now. Um, Friday, I don't think it was a green day even, but I don't remember. Um, but in the past week at least, I'm up over 5,700. So things have been going well lately. Let's talk about my positions. So for my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return, I am down $648. I'm selling Disney $97 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return, $44. I'm selling Google $160 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return, I am down $204. I'm selling SoFi $8.5 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return, $51.84. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, $32. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $220. I'm selling Disney $95 calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $230. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $250. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $3,270. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,203. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $1,250. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $2,661. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $191.91. My average cost, $176.42. My total return, $4,648.10. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $8.11. My average cost, $5.71. My total return, $15,364. And 48 cents. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $93.65. My average cost $67.50. My total return $10,460. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $164.15. My average cost $142.48. My total return, $2,167. This is a margin account. My margin total is $93,304.73. My margin used is $57,938.59. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $13,366.14 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is 
is how much more money you can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $9.57. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So not much to report today. It's Sunday night. Um, technically the market was not open today. I'm just making a video now because I did not make one on Friday for my update. But yeah, right now I'm at around $110,000. Now, something to note here is that four of my positions expire on the 27th, which is this upcoming Friday. So this upcoming Friday, a bunch of these will expire. Although I might just decide to push this out to a further expiration date. Um, I'm not sure which one I would like to keep. Honestly, Amazon, I used to be like really die hard, like, oh, I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep these. But now I do want to keep on having Amazon plays long term. However, in terms of, uh, you know, rolling out my covered calls, I'm OK if this gets called away because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy back the shares anyways and then do more covered calls on it. Although uh, in my current situation, maybe I'll just roll these out to October. Right now, Amazon is at $191.91, so it's above the strike price that I chose of $185. Um, so if I just leave it like this, I'm just going to you know, collect the premium that I was getting, and then um, my shares of Amazon will get called away. Disney is below 97 right now. It's at 93. Um, so this will probably just expire worthless and then I'll just collect my premium and keep my shares of Disney. Google is above 160 right now. It's at 164. But to be honest, at the moment right now, I'm not like super desperate to keep Google. Um, there are some times where I realize I just made a huge mistake, but at the time I didn't see it, you know, so who knows? I mean, there's a chance that Google could just shoot up to the moon right after I get rid of my positions. Um, I remember I had a position in um, Meta back when it was way, way lower than it is right now. Right now, Meta is at like, oh my gosh, like 500 bucks or something. I don't even know. I haven't been keeping up. Yeah, 564. I remember this was around like, oh my goodness, like 120. I remember too. I remember back when it was around this price and it has just exploded uh, upwards insane. But at the time, I mean, how was I supposed to know? But um, yeah, right now, I feel like I'm not desperate to keep Google. If it goes up, it goes up, but I mean, I, I'm, I'm okay with if these get shares get called away. So who knows? I might just leave it. Um, so far, I do want to keep. This is one of the positions I do want to keep my shares in uh, desperately. So right now, eight and a half dollars. I did have about 400 shares that I had seven and a half dollar for the strike price, but I decided to just make them all eight and a half for the strike price. So, and I want to keep it this way. If SoFi does go above eight and a half, oh my goodness, I'm going to make lots of money anyways, but I'm keeping it like this for now. And if it stays this way at eight 11, I'll be happy. I'll be happy if it stays at eight 11, cause then I'll make the money I make off of the covered calls and I'll keep my shares of SoFi, which I do want to keep um, right now. As for the rest, honestly, I'm okay if they stay or go. It's it's fine. All right. Um, other than that, something that I want to take note of here also is McDonald's. I chose a strike price of you know 300, 310 for my call credit spreads. Oh my goodness, it is getting so dangerously close to 300. Past three months, went up 38 dollars and 72 cents in the past three months. And I was hoping maybe things will cool down. It has cooled down, you know, the rate at which it's going up has cooled down, but I was hoping it would maybe go back down again, but huh, I thought wrong. Um, so it is getting dangerously close. So I don't know if I want to maybe roll this out to a further expiration date, 
maybe the next year even, um, and a higher strike price. Different strike prices, that is, because of uh, how iron condors work. It's four different uh, options, basically. So for my other one, the Verizon Iron Condor, I'm comfortable where it's at now, although 44 is getting a little bit close to 47, which makes me a little bit uneasy, but I think it's okay for now. It's manageable. It's not like, it's not so close like it is with McDonald's. Right now, my goodness, it's, it's making me feel like it might actually go past 300 or maybe even 310. I don't know. Uh, making me worry. Um, other than that, I'm okay with everything else. My Disney calls, here's the thing. I, I am selling the Disney $95 calls against it. And if Disney actually reaches 95, actually, I'm okay of this. I'm okay if the position is gonna, you know, um, disappear from my portfolio. Uh, both the covered call and the the calls expiring in the summer of 2025. Um, I've made a good profit from this already. I mean, $2,661. Up over 22% from my original investment. So if Disney actually ends up at 95 by the expiration date of uh, October 18th, I'll just get rid of the whole thing. Uh, just to lock in my profits because I have been burned before where I waited too long and then because I waited too long I ended up losing money so um, in this case on October 18th if Disney is above 95 I'm willing to just get rid of uh, this call and the the call that I bought all right that's pretty much all I have for my updates if you guys like this type of content then please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more of these more of these type of videos all right thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye